Welcome to the Railway Series Book Club, the podcast where we dissect the Railway Series. I'm Jamie. I'm Marina. I'm Vivian. And we hope you enjoy the show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Railway Series Book Club podcast, the podcast where it's a podcast and there's trains or something. I'm Jamie. I am your hostess with the mostest, the queen of Sodor, pronouns she, her. I'm Marina, your local TV series bitch, and I spent three hours earlier today streaming Five Nights at Fuck Boys, so... My will to live is completely gone, so... Let's uh, go. Name, At least they had the Uthu. Yeah. I have a copy of Sonic Riders Zero Gravity for the Nintendo Wii. Also, I'm British. I'm Andrew. Uh, pronouns they, them. I'm staring very intently at the uh, wooden railway spam can on my desk. And, uh... I can't think of anything else to say here that would be funny. I don't have anything funny to say now. Well, today on our show, we are not going to be talking about wood. We are going to be talking about leaves. Damn. We're going to be talking about good. Okay, so we're all doing this. We're, not, we're, we're not inviting Andrew back. Andrew cut back. that. Fucking cut that. We lost it. Fucking cut that joke! This is the worst I fucking didn't thing know ever. What the fuck you were saying? So okay. Um, I think they just said we're gonna. We're not gonna be talking about good, and then I said we're gonna be talking about good. Uh, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and calling the story good is about. Yeah, it's a good it story. Up. Um. I, li- I like this one. I really like this one. Trouble with mud, though, can uh, can suck my hyperlink blocked. Yeah, uh, this is uh, this is one of those stories that uh, got adapted in season three instead of season one, which makes sense because I I can't imagine them doing this in season one. That I don't think they would have been able to do money. it with that budget and how simple the stories were then. But I, uh. I- at, and you know the the parts of the story that's actually based on this story is actually pretty good. Uh, th- was it worth the rest of it though? I honestly, my favorite no. scene of it is just at the washdown where Gordon just blows like fucking okay. blood. Literally, this is the thing. James and yeah, then we're when, like, like shit all when over he's, James. When what he's a great like hitting scene. all the trucks and he's like, and you, and you, it, and my you. Fa- my favorite part of it is just that, the, that's from the, the book. That's a good one. I'm a famous I like how machine. it's done. Yeah. I... That that sure is a line at the end of that no, story. Like... <laughs> oh, yeah, it's at the end. I... Uh, I... I think a weird part of me kind of likes the idea of, like... It's just like you expect Gordon to be, like... James and like oh like I need to be clean and everything like I need to wash now I need to look my best which like they do later but like no that that's what I was gonna say I I didn't get the chance to finish I feel like I do kind of like that they oh sorry (laughs) it's okay it's just I, I I was just I was just saying I I definitely agree that I think that is it is more interesting for Gordon to. Uh, not not mind like you know the the state he's in and more care about getting a good job done. It just feels very clumsily executed. Yeah, that's here. I was gonna say. I think the idea that like he cares more about his work than his appearance is interesting, especially because it's like people like paint up the engines to look all weathered and stuff. That's realistic, I think. <laughs> So, like, I think it would make an interesting yeah. trait, but, like, the fact it's never used before or after, and, like, within, like, three seasons, it's inherently contradicted, like, multiple times, it's, like, 
yeah, it doesn't really work out the best. <laughs> like, re- interesting idea. Real engines get weathered all the yeah. time. Yeah, by like just kind of like it is, it's, going around it's, and puffing you, smoke onto themselves. You'd be hard pressed to find an engine that like isn't weathered in some way. Yeah, so it's like I I think the idea that like he doesn't really like he he cares more about his work than his appearance, and then like kind of gets to a point or like on like a particularly like shitty day, the fact controller's like, yeah, you look like absolute garbage. Fucking go get cleaned up. <laughs> Goodness cool. gracious, Gordon. I like... Th- Honestly, thinking about it, I feel like that make this... In a weird way, it kind of makes sense of the TV series, you know. Going with that angle comes after the, uh, you know, the two stories they did adapt from this book. Because, honestly, Gordon not caring about his appearance and just wanting to do his work regardless feels like something that he would develop after this, like, story Yeah, arc. I never thought about that As way. opposed to, like, you know, yeah, in the right middle. after the ditch crash. So, it, it's interesting. You know, this, this story, unlike Paint Pots and Queens, which was also adapted later, you know, does that season three thing where they just kind of shave off the connective tissue between yeah, stories. Yeah, it's, it's which, the you know, Scarf of Percy principle. It, it could theoretically work, I guess. It's an easy... It's... Of yeah. all these stories, it's the easiest one to, like, separate. Because it's basically a middle point. Well, not a middle point, but, like, you know what I mean. Like, it's it's a part of the arc, but, like, I feel like it's the least It's important. the least. It's the least tied to the others. Uh... I'd argue Down the Mine is the least no, important part of the arc. No, because that brings Thomas arc, into we'll it. We'll get to that when we get there. I mean, it, it does add Thomas to it, but I'd argue Thomas's presence in Paint Pots and Queens is so extremely minimal, I don't think it matters, but we'll save that for that episode. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can talk about it then. I, I guess on the topic of Thomas, I like how they try and force them into the episode still. Oh yeah, that's great. <laughs> I love how they keep his thing in Paint Bots and Queens, where Thomas asks, can Gordon pull coaches again? Because, you know, again, connective tissue shaves off. They have to kind of, like, f- shoehorn in the ending of that arc into this. <laughs> yeah. Paint Pots and Queens is fucked as an episode. I mean, it really right. is. It would be fine if... They didn't use Duck and the Twins. Don't they only cameo at the end? Yes. I would argue... Okay, not really at the end, but, like... It, Duck's in the scene where uh, the painter falls on Henry. Oh, okay. um, He's also there to meet the Queen. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. I feel like, honestly, you could make an argument for, you know... Duck and the twins being non-diegetic and thus not actually mattering that they're there, but the fact they're still yeah. there, it, I don't know. For some reason, Duck being it's there bit... and Thomas meets the Queen feels mm. worse than Duke showing up in the background of like fucking Peter Sam and the Refreshment Lady or some shit. Yeah. Oh man, season four of continuity is just like fucked up and evil sometimes. Well, I say sometimes, it's it fucked up and evil sad. all the time. <laughs> it makes me sad. Season four is good, but its continuity is fucked up and evil. Yeah. <laughs> it has pretty mountains. Looks nice though. They yeah. They use the same mountain backdrop a lot. <laughs> they do. Yeah, and that's cool because it's you're always seeing the same mountain because it's a big mountain. But yeah. it's also, you're only seeing the same mountain every time, so it makes it really obvious they only had one backdrop. Listen, Coldy it, it covered big. up pretty well. Coldy okay. feels big. You can always see it. That's fair. Uh. But yeah. Should we read Funny, Funny, Funny Greg the Train? I think we should read Funny yeah. Greg Train. Yeah, we should read Funny Greg Train. It's been ages. Leaves. Two men were cleaning Gordon. Mind my eye, Gordon grumbled. Shot it, silly. Did you ever see such mud, Bert? No, I never, Alf. You ought to be ashamed, Gordon, giving us extra work like this. 
Hosing and scrubbing stopped. Gordon opened one eye, but shut it quickly. Wake up, Gordon, said the fat controller sternly. Listen to me. You pulled no more coaches. You are a really useful engine. So Gordon had to spend his time pulling trucks. This is, this is a fun scene. This is a fun introduction. This this page yeah. is really weird, though. Like, what what... James looks fucked up, and why is he just standing in the foreground of this illustration? Well, like, the actual thing that's going on in the page is just happening in the background. I mean... But you need to know that James finds Gordon's suffering amusing. Yeah. Well, yeah. They want yeah. you to know that James... He's got the lipstick, though. Yeah, he's got the lipstick. Fuck yeah. It is on fleek, as the kids would say. Yeah. As ever. But Gordon looks like he's getting shot with cum. Gordon about to be impaled with hammers. <laughs> oh man, I forgot I, to mention had, this. Had I been there for fucking Henry the Green Engine, I'd have referenced that for Gordon's whistle. <laughs> just, just saying. You've got your you know, I feel in like it's eye. a very, it's a very important thing that we talk about. How much of an improvement this story is with the scene where Gordon shits all over James's face. <laughs> oh, excuse me. You know what? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, the the trouble with mud. Oh. I mean, that's one of the few things I like about uh, Trouble with Mud, really. It's like the, the just Gordon shitting all over James and it's a then, fun like, fact. the fat controller going, oh, Goodness gracious, Gordon. I, I don't know. I just like that alliteration. Yeah. I don't think he even says, Goodness gracious, Gordon, but like, I just like him saying, Goodness gracious. It's funny. There, there, there's, a, there's a niche that it scratches. Uh. <laughs> Otherwise, trouble with mud can suck my uh, hyperlink blocked. Jamie, I forgot to mention at the top of the episode that uh, autumn leaves. Johnny Morris calls this story "Autumn Leaves" for some reason, and it's like, what? Why? Why did you do this? I mean, that's a better title, but why did you do this? Because <laughs> there's leaves and it's autumn. Autumn leaves. Like, sure, but why? So, like, as a kid, when I had The Trouble with Mud on VHS, I liked the scene with Gordon and James at the washdown because I thought it was funny, but it annoyed me that that happens and then they don't talk about it when James talks to him in the yard later. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, kind of happen like... and it's forgotten about. Like, you'd, you'd think Gordon... Like, think James kid, would be I mad at like, Gordon for that. That is something James would Typical talk about. Typical series three. Like, so that is something James would absolutely talk about. You shit all over me earlier. <laughs> Why the fuck do you do that? Where's your it's fucking be... dignity, you cunt? It's supposed to be later in the same day, right? No, it's like the, I think it's like the next day, isn't it? Yeah, this is the next day. Oh, okay. Yeah, then they probably... He probably told them to fuck off off screen. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> they sleep in... Time he could Who does? Yeah. Oh, that, that's... That's literally what... The that's literally the, the biggest impact that scene has, is just that line in the James song. Yeah. One fucking lyric. That's all. Dirty or clean, I'm a famous machine. Fucking. Okay, dude. Alright. I like Alf and Bert. Yeah. yeah. He's famouser than you. Yeah. You know. Oh, named know. workmen. Good for them. The unsung heroes of the railway they, series. They do that a few times in the books, don't they? A few times. Isn't there a bloke called they? Alf in, um. Isn't there a bloke called Alf in Buzz Buzz? Maybe. Uh, hold on. I, I, I read Mainline Engines again recently. Isn't that like 30 years later? They they named the porters in Buzz Buzz. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're, they're Fred and Bert. Okay, uh, I was close. So, yeah. Bert the, uh, Bert the porter is different to Fred the workman. Uh. What? Fred... Bert the porter is a different person to Bert the workman. There we go. God. Who is different from Bert the miniature engine? My, my... Who is different from Iron Bert? Who is different from Bertie? Who is different from Bertram? Who is different from Sir Topham Hat in the CGI series? 
Yes. We did it. We can all go home. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody, pack up. We can. Uh... Thank, you, thank you for listening over. to the podcast. Good strains, good strains. He muttered. He felt his position deeply. That's for you and you and you. Gordon said crossly. Oh, 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 ow, 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 oh, 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 screamed the trucks as he shunted them about the yard. Trucks will be trucks, said James. Watch. They weren't with me, snorted Gordon. I'll teach them. Go on. And another truck scurried away. They tried to push me down the hill this morning, Gordon explained. It's slippery there. You'll probably need some help. Gordon is long. He sure I'm is. so glad you replicated the really weird oh, oh he oh. does with the last shot. Honestly, truck. Gordon yeah. and James look Gordon and James look pretty nice here. They yeah. do. I really yeah. I, I remember I tried to redraw this illustration when I was in like eighth grade, I think. It's a good one. How'd it go? I don't I don't it, it's pro it probably still exists in my house somewhere, maybe. I don't know. But point is I think that James's design in the show is almost perfect. I think it would be perfect as like a representation of James from the book, almost, or at least closer to closer to such. If his dome were actually like placed in the middle of his boiler, like it is here. Yeah, that and is the, very the annoying. Show? On the actual, it's James not in the show. Mark. No. Oh. Yeah, it's closer to the front, I think? Yeah, it's it's closer to his chimney. It's between the first two boiler bands. Instead of just smack dab on the middle one. Fucked up in I evil modeling like moments. Yeah. I... I wonder what illustration they based that on. A bad one. It's probably something in James the Red Engine. Yeah, probably. Speaking of James oh, the Red Engine, this is reminding game. me a lot of... Uh, or it's not not really reminding me a lot of, but it, it's making me think a lot about the end of James and the Express, and it, it, I guess this is it makes it very clear that Gordon does not actually like to shunt the yard. He was just trying to save face in that instance. Yeah, yeah. You know. Actually, you know what? It's it's still yeah. even in fucking James the Red Engine. It's still centered on his boiler. How the fuck? It's fucked up. Why do so many trucks in the early books just have, like, five planks of wood in them and nothing else? Uh, because it was like that in the pain illustrations and Dolby only knows how to copy pain. Yeah. Pretty much. One, th one thing I do like about the earlier books is, like, the difference in size on the trucks. Because, like, yeah. there's a few really short ones and, like, a tall one. And like the empty line here. Yeah, yeah. you know, some. Like, clearly, we need nothing but standard red trucks. <laughs> oh, shame of it. Yeah, w once my once my Pico <clears throat> wagon kits come in, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make like a fucking huge ass rake of nothing but red open wagons. So that way, when Bachman <laughs> finally makes N scale Paxton, I, I will have Honestly, him pulling his the... red truck stone train from the Blue Mountain Quarry. I don't need help on the hills, said James huffily. Gordon laughed and got ready for his next train. James went away to take the express. Slippery hills indeed, he snorted. I don't need help. Come on, come on, he puffed. All in good time, all in good time, grumbled the coaches. The train was soon running nicely, but a distant signal checked them close to Gordon's hill. Gordon's hill used to be bleak and bare. Strong winds from the sea made it hard to climb. Trees were... Yeah, that's literally the end of the page. Yeah. What? Yeah. It literally just ends at trees were. Oh, wow, really? Do... Yep. Do, do they just cut off mid... Yeah, yep. they just cut, they just cut off just... mid-sentence. Does that happen? Like, usually? It's happened, I think... I think it happened once in, um... Troublesome engines. That's so jarring. That it doesn't really work with this like... format, does it? Yeah. This is maybe this is just like before Wilbur figured out how to format books properly. Maybe. It, it might. It yeah. might also be the editors or whoever 
Like, I don't know. I don't fucking think Wilbert was Eric actually Marriott, doing the f- dude. Yeah, fucking Eric. Dick Marriott from Garrett Soder Dick Island Dick News Marriott. or whatever. Soder Island News. My name is Dick Marriott. What is that from? It's from Tetley. Tetley. Wait, what's Tetley? D- it's Are an all-time fucking Rescue classic. Tetley? That was the first TARDIS rescue video I ever saw was Tetley. I think it was most people's Same here. first Dan video. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I-, I think so. It's the one with the van that they... They pour some tea on, and they name him after the tea, and he's a fucking menace. I think I remember that. Hen house. <laughs> I, I really like that they use Henry as a stopping block. Also, I completely forgot to mention on the next page, mostly because, like, that conversation kind of, like, bled into this one, is I wish we got to see Gordon getting pushed down the hill by the trucks. That'd be, like, the kind of scene you could add in an expanded adaptation of the story, it, it, you know, probably just not included because of page space, but you know, yeah. that would have been cool. Like, would have been I a cool feel, way I to like, like kind of establish the status quo of Gordon in disgrace. And then James just totally brushes off Gordon's advice when he gives it, because yeah, Gordon's respectability is at a record low right now after his fucking pathetic stunt. And also James is too minus stupid 1200 to... Solo... <laughs> minus 1,200 social credit. Exactly. Minus... You know, social... also James is too stupid to take advice when he needs it. So, you know, it's a match made in heaven. I, I <laughs> yeah. feel like if that, I mean, that's an integral adapted. part of James's character. Yeah. I feel like if this story was adapted in the CGI series... It would be like, oh, James, be careful on the hill, it's slippery. And how would you know? And then it just cuts to Gordon screaming as he's pushed down the hill for two seconds. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't know if it'd be blocked well enough to make that work, but God, I wish. <laughs> it's like, I mean, it's like the, uh, to be fair, it's like the they fucking, do that. It... I think they're like the fastest red engine on Sodor thing with the cutaway yeah. to the adventure begins. You know, oh, it's like, yeah. they're like, oh, like... It's like, oh, like, it's like, haven't you ever raised a He's like, what? No. And it's just like, it just shoots him on fire, screaming. And he's just like, well, those were fixed. And then he just walks in and <laughs> leaves. It's like, genuinely one of my favorite references in the show, just because it makes for a really fun gag. The, okay. I forgot that they did that. Yeah, me too. I don't, okay, don't want to say, I don't want to go on another tangent, but I will say. Season 21's humor is on point. I fucking love Messy that Messy big t- poo to you too, Daisy. <laughs> My bottom's wet. <laughs> My bottom's wet. <laughs> Besides that. No, including that. <laughs> including that. Hmm. Now, who did I ask <laughs> to pull the express? Okay, that one's good. I, I am I'm not a big I do not like messy big poo. Uh messy big poo is fucking my, exquisite. My <laughs> bottom sweat <laughs> is like uh that one kinda straddles the line a bit. Yeah. I'm just not a fan of toilet humor, honestly. Fecal what funny. The, what about the, they, they literally what about have the a funny joke fat in season twenty of Judy and Jerome being shat on. Yeah, I didn't like yeah. that either. <laughs> Fecal funny. It's not. Damn, Andrew, so this, you're right. Is Gordon? Uh, this is off topic, but is Gordon? Or on topic, I guess. Is Gordon's Hill by the sea? Uh, um, well, all kinda? of the is to like to a certain extent. Yeah. I think at most the main line deviates like just like probably like ten to twenty miles from the sea. Yeah, it's you know. It's not, like, right next to the ocean, but it's, you know, it's, eh, it's pretty close. I think the only lines on Sodor that don't travel even near the sea or directly along the sea are Thomas's branch line, the Peel Godred branch, the Arsdale, and the Scarloe. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I was thinking about this in the shower. Like, the Scarloe is very, like, rural. Yeah. yeah. It's very inland. It's also like, the Coldy like Fell, I guess. <laughs> And th- that doesn't count. The Coldy Fell doesn't count. Yeah, Coldy Fell's not real. Um, Coldy Fell's literally on a fucking mountain. <laughs> it's, yeah, I, it's a the, mountain there's, that's there's not the next to the sea. Mountains. <laughs> exactly. It's like, you know, like, Brendam's, Brendam's, like, water, so is Norumby and the Little Western and the CGI series, so is the Harwick branch. 
like like great water tin i guess isn't well we also don't know where that should fucking be so it doesn't exist clearly i mean that's how they treated it after the great discovery so you know they used it a lot in season 12 and i think it's only like season 12 in the great discovery i kind of count as like the same well, actually, that, that's oh, probably yeah. not. That's probably not fair. Because, yeah, that's like, not you know. fair. That's not fair to the Great Discovery at all. Yeah, I, I mean, like, <laughs> they kind of exist in the same like timeline slot in my head. So, like, they were all two thousand eight. Yeah, they, they they occupy the same they occupy the same part of your brain, so they're just yeah. kind of get fused together. I feel like that thing. might not be entirely accurate though, because it's probably got like more development wise in common with season 11 than it does season 12 even though season 12 yeah. actually used all that shit that they introduced what the fuck is up with james's yeah. tender in this page uh i'm gonna look at it just so to make sure uh it's just fucked up it's dalby yeah, it's no very big number is like yeah the number's on the line it's correctly wanting to it's escape. dalby as him... oh sorry i was looking at the last illustration Oh. You see, James can shift his mass between himself and his tender. So right he now he's like just trying to be dummy thick. Ass. <sighs> Is that out of character? Gordon. 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 I can't climb, climb up, up the Gordon's hill. hill. <laughs> but I'm dummy thick, and the weight of my tender is dragging me back down the hill. Kinky. Andrew, I said this to you before. You're yeah. like skill in like voices is genuinely incredible okay <laughs> i <laughs> is that the sounds no this is <laughs> trees were planted to give shelter and in some of the trains run through a leafy avenue now autumn had come, and dead leaves fell. The wind usually puffed them away, but today rain made them heavy, and they did not move. The home signal showed clear, and James began to go faster. He started to climb the hill. I'll do it! I'll do it! He puffed confidently. Halfway up, he was not so sure. I must do it! I must do it! He panted desperately, but try as he would, his wheels slipped on the leaves, and he couldn't pull the train at all. I like this illustration a lot. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a good one. Uh, you know, it's James. He he's slipping. It shows what's in the text really, really well. Oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong but... illustration. Oops. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That is. Yeah. Yeah. I I just did the same thing on the last page. If if it helps. <laughs> um. Um. I like that though. Those those boys are just watching this whole thing go down. In the same way as What's Henry and the Elephant. Where do they talk about the, the trees growing on the... Uh, at the beginning of the page, they say they planted the trees to give shelter in the summer. So, like, in the summer, the trains, like, don't have to run through, like, the wind and stuff. And also, like, you know, people walking up the hill. I think it's more for them than yeah. the trains. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which, you know, is really cool. It's, it's a neat. really cool attention to detail. And a very good excuse yeah. for having leaves on Gordon's Hill, because, you know, actually looking at previous illustrations, there weren't any trees on Gordon's Hill previously. So, you know, it's cool that, like, you know, it, some explanation is provided as to why they're just suddenly here now. In the TV series, there have always been trees on Gordon's Hill, so it makes sense that it wasn't cut out. That eh. So it makes sense that this line wasn't in the TV series version. Uh, also, just because, you know, more yeah. lines equals more time. But, you know, it, it's neat. You know, it's a, it's a, it's, it's cool just, continuity. I was just skipping back um, in, in my complete collection to see if I could find, like, illustrations of Gordon's Hill. And I ended up thumbing through Henry and the Elephant. And I, and I, and I saw the face Henry makes when the uh, men are just running out of the tunnel. And it's so fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> the look of sheer horror and oh, oh shit that, that one has oh, is fucking exquisite. What the fuck? <laughs> oh <Yeah>. fuck! <laughs> <laughs>
Anyway, so I am. I can't tell which illustration I'm supposed to be looking at right now. Is it the, it's the like boy? The one where like James is facing away from the camera, and there's like a tree, and there's like the two lads. And, okay. Yeah. I, All right. I'm looking at the. So I thought I was. And... I thought I was actually meant to be looking at that illustration on the last page. Oh, oops. And I thought that 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 that, 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 that was what V meant when she said, um, James's tenor doesn't have a rear buffer beam. Well, it doesn't and, on the last one either. Yeah, it doesn't. Doesn't doesn't here. It doesn't here. It doesn't have the black square here. Yeah, it's, yeah, it hasn't got the lining. They either. only painted that on one side of the tender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like when they half painted City of Truro and BR black for an April Fool's yeah. joke. Oh, God, you know what? I really. I really want Rapido That's to do still like. That's so fucking funny to me. I really want Rapido to do an N scale City of Truro, just so that they can do a BR Black version, because that's something they would fucking do. <laughs> Half and, BR Black. God, imagine City of Truro goes to Sodor in BR Black. Imagine ducks. Fuck, what would duck would do with that? Duck would be so well, unhappy. No. Well, not half VR black. That would be even funnier because he'd he'd be going around the turntable and Duck would just be looking. He'd just be like, "What? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, city of sure. oh! you, you, you look pu purely lovely in that great Western livery. What the fuck is that? <laughs> that sounded almost like Goofy. <laughs> yuck! What the yuck is that, city of Truro? Listen. Listen, Andrew, not everybody can have your fucking skill in voices. I can do, like, two voices, uh -huh. and, like, one of them is Diesel 10. I'm, like, looking at this illustration right now. Time's just... up, Twink! <laughs> I'm looking at this illustration just now and realizing that the, there's a fucking guard's compartment at the front of the coach. And, like, I would say, yeah. ha ha, goof error! But recently I've been looking at a lot of model railway stuff and it seems like it might be more prototypical for there to be like a brake coach in the front and the back. Yeah. For some reason. That's, and yeah, this, is, common, this is yeah. fucking with everything practice. I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, this, this is the thing. Personally, just as an aesthetic choice, I prefer it just being one at the back. But I think functionally it's better to have one at both ends. Yeah. Yeah. Having one at both ends is usually how it goes. It's fucked In up real. is what it is, because it, everything I've it's known is a lie. Like ways, I'm right? having a Mari moment here. <laughs> this, the TV series fucking lied to you, alright? You gotta unlearn everything from the show. We can help you. <laughs> Don't they randomly put break coaches like in the middle sometimes? Uh, middle yeah, but that was, yeah. that was, that was like series one where they like only had like ten coaches. Yeah. Uh, Actually, yeah. no, I'm being too generous. Eight. Yeah. <laughs> I, I six. They they that, had like, they had six orange six and coaches and three old coaches, and that was it. Yeah. I wonder how fast the old coaches fell apart, because we know that's why they're not in anything beyond season one. <laughs> Which just makes me amazed that the M wagon lasted as long as it did. Yeah. Well, see, the M wagon was a sturdily built kit. The old coaches were scratch built. Ah, there. That's where the leg falls off. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know they were just like thrown together, like as cheap as they could. I'm just imagining like the guy who built the M wagon, who like maybe was in like his like full, like 80s when the show premiered, and just like seeing it in the back and just like, what the fuck? That's my truck. That's my boy. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> I love how the band has grown just an obsessive love with the M wagon. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking it's great. cool. It, it's mm -hmm. it's fucking older than like the Rev's first model of Annie. Yeah, it, it's fucked up. <laughs> it's cool. It's real cool. I'm gonna be honest about something. Yeah, what's mm -hmm. up? I have no, I have nothing of substance to say on this page whatsoever. Yeah, I think I really we've run out of things to I'm say trying, too. <laughs> I'm trying real hard, but I, honestly, been, there's, there's nothing I can really say that I that you know wouldn't be fucking 
better off said for the next page. Yeah. See, I, I've been hoping that the conversation would lead us to have more to say about this story, but it just hasn't. Let's just go to the next yeah. page. <laughs> this feels like yeah. a this feels like a reprisal of um James the Red Engine in some ways. Andrew, I'm sorry you always get stuck with the stuff we have nothing to say with. I, I think yeah, it's, it's no less that deal. and I think it's more we're having more fun, like, you know having conversation with each other than it is the story actually being boring. Because I actually like the story. I think it's interesting. Oh, I, I really the like the story too. I just I, I think it's great. I'm getting a bit ahead, but I don't I at least for me it's definitely not that like obviously I'm having fun talking with you all, but like I had nothing to put as notes for this story. Like it wasn't even like I wasn't trying or I was distracted or anything. Yeah. Most of my... I just had nothing of substance to say. Most of my notes with this episode would just be like for this like story would just be like the TV episode was weird, but I like it. Like that was like the main faults I had. It was just like you know the TV the TV episode can lick my demonetized word. <laughs> like Gordon shits on James. I think I think the music in this scene is really good, and also I like. Oh yeah. I like that you can see the ocean from the set of Gordon's Hill. Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice that. What's the matter? What's the matter? He gasped. Steady, old boy, steady, soothed his driver. His fireman put sand on the rails to help him grip, but James's wheels spun so fast that they only ground the sand and leaves it to slippery mud, making things worse than before. The train slowly stopped. Then... Help! 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 whistled James. For though his wheels were turning forwards, the heavy coaches pulled him backwards, and the whole train started slipping down the hill. His driver shot off steam, carefully put on the brakes, and skillfully stopped the train. I I like the description of him like spinning the like the the sand and the leaves into mud. Yeah, that is yeah, that is yeah. really cool. That is really cool. I also love now. I I I fucking love like the like just the scene in general. It's done really well in the TV series of James like you know sliding yeah. back down the hill despite his wheels spinning forward. That's such a good visual. Yeah, yeah. They do and it like really the, really well in the show. Yeah, the music and stuff too. Like I remember. Like it, the it, scene it, unnerving me when I was younger. That, the scene in the TV episode makes it feel like it's like a, like dangerous. Yeah, the best way I can yeah. describe it. Yeah, yeah. It 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 really it really does you know sort of carry that carry that sense of urgency across. Yeah, I also uh, really I, like how uh, in Morris's narration he uh, when James puffing, what's the matter? It sound. It actually kind of sounds like a train's wheels losing grip. I, yeah, yeah. He, I, I really, really love the like, um, the amount of like, I guess, just personality of real engines he puts into that like narration. Yeah, it, like, it's, it's really good. He's such a fun narrator for that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's that I, I is why. Like... That's why I like him so much. I feel like... Because, yeah, sure, it's one thing to have the characters normally speak to things, but, like, you know, thinking about the wider context of the Railway series and just how, you know, much these events were derived from real life, it, it makes a bit more sense to just have, have him go, What's the, what's the matter? What, what's the matter? Shh, 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 shh. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I really like that in the, uh... Like the books and the audio narrations and like the the model series, and like, and it makes me sad. But I also kind of get why they dropped it in the the CGI series to a certain extent because it's like I feel like it would be a bit weirder with like the fully voiced and animated characters for them to just be like doing like the train esque like puffing kind of stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. if that makes when, sense. When you're not relying on solely on a storyteller because like obviously they still had a narrator by the end of like till the end of the cgi series basically um yeah but it was thomas you yeah but Ugh. like yeah but what i mean is more <laughs> like you don't need to rely on or it comes across as weird i guess yeah. and like whenever they just need to show 
like train stuff would sound it like it's more visual i guess so they're able to just use like sound effects and stuff yeah yeah it's like you know if you're doing it just as a storyteller it's like the story as it's like in and of itself is being hinged on the storyteller so yeah doing more like the like, voicing the sounds makes more sense even if there are sound effects whereas like when you have a full voice cast, it feels less natural because they feel more like yeah. their own individual characters and less like they're like a storybook. Yeah, yeah, they're they're playing their own characters and not someone playing every part in the story, essentially. Yeah, yeah. I like the uh, the visual of like the leaves falling down from the trees. Yeah. Yeah, they have that in like the last couple of illustrations as well, which is yeah. what tripped me up when I th when I th got the illustrations we were looking at confused. But uh, yeah, no, nah, um, I I think this one like portrays like what is like what's happening in the text really really well. But also James's frame plates are just gone for some reason. So like yeah. minus twelve. Um, <laughs> he looks like a fucking four F, except fucked up. What are the frames? Oh he looks wrong. Wait. Fat Boiler James is so. So Mari, you know the you know the little you know the little bits that stick out under James's face. Yeah. Those are the frame plates. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yep. Holy that is what those are called. Yeah, that's, I've heard that's people. Weird. I've heard people call them like 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 spokes. Valances even fucking I all of them, them all of those I wrong. I just call them the neck. I think I used to think those were what people meant when they said splashers. Yeah. This I, is an error that neck. must be corrected. Oh no, that's the smoke box saddle. Everybody, there's a cat yeah. here. Oh Wait, wow, wow, way to change the fucking subject. Yeah. <laughs> I have a cat here well, too and got... you don't hear me bragging about it. Yeah, yeah, well, you already to told me. me all about your cat, Jamie. The magic's gone. No one gives a fuck anymore. Well, fuck you. Hey, you didn't say that about Rainy. Hey, we haven't gotten to... No, we haven't gotten all to more about Jamie's cat yet. All right? That, that's... That's Railway that's Series book. number 10. That's Chris Book. God. Honestly, by the time we get to the Chris Books, that's all we'll have to talk about. <laughs> Welcome uh -huh. to the Railway Series Book Club, the podcast where we gave up talking about the books and we just talk about our cats instead. He sat down and mopped his face. I've never known that happen before. I have, said the fireman, in Binkum Tunnel, southern region. The guard poked his head in the cab. Now what? he asked. Back to the station, said the fireman, taking charge, and send for our banker. So the guard won the signalman and they brought the train safely down. But Gordon, who had followed with the goods train, saw what had happened. Gordon left his trucks and crossed over to James. I think it's really weird that the crew explicitly mentions the incident this is based on. And this is yeah, like, I do not I'm pretty like sure, that. I'm pretty oh, sure this yeah. is the only time it happens in God. Reverend Audrey's work. It gets a lot more common yeah. in Christopher's stuff. And, you know, I can see why Audrey doesn't really do it again, because it draws way too much attention to the fact that these are all fictional stories based on things that happened somewhere else. Yeah. Well, it's it's forced. It's it's very forced. Now, it's not it's not really a fictional event, is it? Like, you know. Well, is, well of course, because this... Sodor is a real place, and Audrey was a groundbreaking historian for covering it when no one else had the balls to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But like, I'm just saying that with within within the lens of that, even it's like. Okay, well, this this fireman has been around before to to you know before going to the northwestern region. He was in the southern region and you know, experienced that thing happening. Um, yeah, I think Dalby doesn't like to doesn't know what cab controls are, therefore refuses to draw them. <laughs> yeah, doesn't know what trains are, and then and therefore understandable. <laughs> There's all kinds of fuck going on. James's cab is a fucking empty shell. <laughs> the There's all times kinds I of ever fuck drew going cabs, on. It would just be like, what what's inside the the, the take alongs? 
This is the thing. The take along cabs were like my first thought with like, oh yeah, there's like actual stuff in the train. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> take along cabs are fucking cool. Love the take along cabs. Yeah. Love take along. They're it's good. Yeah. Take along. I like right. that the guard's hat just has guard written on it. Yeah. Presumably so we can tell. <laughs> I really who. love that. The guard and then the other two just have not guard written on them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not guard and also not guard. Hyphenated. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget the hyphen between spider and man. Don't forget the hyphen between steam and roller. I Ding will yo. forget the hyphen between Don't steam Don't forget the hyphen you. between top and half. I know, hack. I'm joking. <laughs> I was saying that to V. Okay. <laughs> I will, I will well, no, for that, fuck you too! I will absolutely forget the hyphen between Steam and Roller as an act of defiance, no, much like, like my staunch I, I was joking in the, today. like, being upset, not the Stay compliment Roller. thing. I just want to make sure that clear, even though I know it is. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, I could tell. I, I could tell. Sure. It's, it's alright. It's all good. God, there's so much fuck happening. Here, just uh, I, I James's like how... firebox might as well just not fucking exist. <laughs> it is very it small. Barely, barely. It it doesn't even doesn't even go into the cab. The cab's a husk. The the, 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 the perspective of of uh, James does not match like anything in the surrounding environment. Uh, I meant to bring this up last illustration as the thing that I would have brought up in the illustration before and in talk and now i'll get to this point and then i'll get, revisit another point so my point there is that it's one i've made before especially in like like james the red engine take engine thomas again tank engine thomas again even fucking and it's that dalby is way way better at painting landscapes than he is engines Oh, yeah, that's a given. Yeah. Lovely. It's yeah, it looks great, but James just doesn't match it. Same with the last illustration. The one before though, yeah, that looks fine. Um But there was something I neglected to bring up last week during Off the Rails. Oh right? boy. There is something that I completely neglected. It was something that I said I put I put a, a pin in for later in the episode when I wanted to bring it up, and then I it just it just it just didn't end up happening. So this is a, a, a public message to those of the Thomas Wiki, those who run it, operate it. A goof on the page for Off the Rails, the episode, states that the boys' song references a Monday morning despite the episode being broadcast on a Tuesday. <laughs> by this logic, by this logic, the page for Gordon the Big Engine should have a similar goof about the book having been pl published on a Friday. <laughs> my here's my call to action. What are you gonna do, Wiki Admins? Are you gonna commit, or are you gonna take the episode goof out? The ball is in your court. <laughs> exactly. See, I, the I, ball is in your court. Will you swing it or will you kick it, <laughs> or will you ignore it and allow this misinformation to continue, or will you? Should eat I edit it? the page? I no. can do it right now. No. 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 Let, them, let them know of them. Let them know. Let them know. I think a couple wiki admins watch this show. Ross does. Ross Good. Is a wiki admin. Hey Ross. Hi. Hey, Hi. can you um can you mind uh can you mind Hi. telling your uh, wiki admin friends about this? Yeah, th thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, most important. <laughs> clearly. Ross, I, Ross, you were, you're running a fucking sham of a company over there, buddy. What the fuck are you lot doing? I mean, I tried to be nice about it, but yeah. <laughs> you should be no, ashamed kid, of yourself. I, I mean, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. You lay should too find hard yourself a scrapyard now. People think we're those freaks that want the the wiki to be like insane or something. Yeah, no. Like, no. genuinely, the wiki is really cool. We use it for. A lot with working on this stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a very, you're it's a great. very good and well kept resource. It's really weird sometimes, but you know what? Yeah. 
Uh, I I feel there's more good than bad. To be fair, that's just fan <laughs> I agree. in general. The Thomas Wiki is genuinely the best maintained and most helpful like fandom wiki I have ever used. Yeah, yeah. it is like, actually astounding. Like, like if you wanna if you wanna go on a wiki that is completely incomprehensible sometimes, try going on to try going on Sonic News Network. Doesn't work. <laughs> the Oh man, don't even try to fucking it's try the sunny Beyblade Philadelphia wiki. wiki has a page for Scrimblo Bimblo, the lovable Scrunko. <laughs> Wait, what does? The It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia wiki. <laughs> Please tell me the, the fucking Scrimblo Bimblo. The fucking yes, Beyblade wiki. I took the is... screenshot. Mm. Sorry. Uh, no, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just get this done real quick. And, 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 uh, <laughs> There's like five <laughs> to redirect. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Mari, pull, pull, show this image on, on, on screen. Oh my god, I love reading this. I am Gimme to Grub. This is his religious chant when you summon him from the Deathly Hollows. No mention of him has been made on the show. However, as the series further explores Charlie's heritage, Scrimble Blimbo's time may come soon. It is theory. <laughs> It is theorized that Scrimblow Blimblow may be, in fact be one of Charlie's sisters that are mentioned but never seen. <laughs> you know, there's nothing like that on the Beyblade wiki, but uh, are there any pages on the fucking, uh, on any wiki? Like, if, if there is one wiki with the most placeholder articles for no good reason, it's the Beyblade wiki. Because there's like a hmm. shit million articles for each individual part. And, like, none of them have any workable information. And those that do are, like, two years out of date. I Where they are now is unknown, but it can be assumed they are now working at Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's still up. That, honest it to God, is, might still I believe. Be I thought you could climb hills, he chuckled. James didn't answer. He had no steam. Oh, well, we live and learn, said Gordon. We live and learn. Never mind, little James, he went on kindly. I'm going to push behind. Whistle when you're ready. James waited till he had plenty of steam. Then, beep, beep, he called. Boop, boop, boop. Pull hard, puffed Gordon. We'll do it, puffed James. Pull hard, we'll do it. Pull hard, we'll do it. The engines puff together. Aha, uh -huh, funny poop. Poop. Fecal funny. It's it's a fecal funny. Fecal funny. Um, I as, like as, a, as a kid, I liked illustrations like this because I liked really long trains of passenger coaches. Wait, wait, was that the end of the was that the end of the page? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was the end of the page. Oh, okay. I like that they yep. are working together. Yeah, yeah it's, it's nice. It's kind of like a like a weird spin on Edward and Gordon. Yeah, yeah. it does kind of have shades I'm of that. Though. Though. The, like, like, oh, we can do it. We will do it. Kind of thing. You know. yeah, I, think, I think that plays into you know Gordon getting redeemed in this way pretty well because you know, he, he gets to bank James up the same hill that he had to get banked up years before. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and like, you know, in, in the next page, James will thank Gordon for his help. And I'm wondering if that would ever, like, you know, if Gordon experiencing that would ever, like, internalize that last part and, like, how it might have made Edward feel when he didn't thank him that time. I don't know. Uh, I feel like you could do something really I also really like Gordon saying. Oh, go ahead. I also really like uh, Gordon saying, we live and learn. Like, it's funny, because, like, yeah. I, I feel yeah. like if I were, like, you know, if I were readapting this book, uh, I would, uh, I would, like, adapt that. I would make it so that James would say that to Gordon beforehand, just for the, the dramatic irony points, but, you know, I don't know. I, I still think it's, like, you know, it's kind of funny that Gordon's saying that after just having majorly fucked up himself. <laughs> yeah. 
I feel like I, Gordon. If I adapted this, I would simply play Live and Learn from Sonic Adventure <laughs> 2. <laughs> yeah, no, two. that's what I do. Yeah, during this scene. Thank you and good night. Epic moment. I feel like Gordon is a character who would really benefit from, like, not necessarily a movie, but maybe, like, maybe, like, a, like a, I guess like a CGI series, like thirty minutes special, or like a set of like three or four episodes that readapt his character arc. Gordon would benefit yeah. from having a gun. You know yeah, what, Jamie? I guess he would. Which is why, which is why Gordon the Big Engine on GameCube and PS2 exists. Yes, of course. <laughs> yes. What's that you one? Know, that it, one picture, it, it which is just like the melee, of... the melee character screen, but Gordon's there. <laughs> I, if Gordon has a gun, those I two remember. demons, Bill and Ben, would no longer vex him. <laughs> those you know, little that's the, demons. That's the final boss. Oh God! Those little that. demons. I I I love um. Uh, originally, apparently, they were planning. It was because a bunch of kids were writing in to. Brett, David, I don't know. And then, say, hit, yeah, saying that they should give Thomas a gun, but they, they thought it wouldn't be fitting within his character, so they decided it would be perfectly in character for Gordon. And that's why the game exists. Wow. I, yeah. love, the, I love the development history of Shadow the Hedgehog so much. I love that everyone thought it was a joke at first. <laughs> I, it is genuinely amazing to me that it came out in the same year that a major act of terrorism happened and an attempt on a public politician's life, and both of those, you do both of those in the game. <laughs> oh, God. Wow, these... Com comment redacted. <laughs> really mean business. God. <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog is a game that exists, and I feel like we accepted that too quickly. We really oh, did. I agree it's completely. Fucked up. I love it. It's nuts. And I, it's amazing. I still remember when Joel streamed it, like, years ago, and it was the funniest fucking thing on Earth, because, like, he literally got to, like, the menu. And, yeah, and the bullet. That, like, the, yeah, the bullet. Sound. He was fucking yeah. amazing over that shit. You know, and the I... BRB started talking about Sonic Underground. <laughs> that killed me the first yeah. time I played the game. Just the, the like, bullet. Like, it's like, oh, would you like to create a save file? Yes. <laughs> and then it's just shadow, like, like, pumping a, like, assault rifle, like a rifle, da, like it's a da, shotgun. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Sonic rifle. fucking keeling over. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, I don't want to get oh, too God. into Shadow the Hedgehog. I Am All Of Me is a cheesy as fuck stupid song, and I love it so much. Oh, Honestly, that song is raw as hell, and I love it. <laughs> Go ahead and you try to see through me. me. Walk into my history, Step inside and hold on for dear life. Do you remember me? Remember when this was a Railway no. Series podcast? And not a Sonic podcast. Yeah, it's the Shadow the Hedgehog yeah. no. podcast now. Want want to finish the story? Sonic the Sudrian Hedgehog podcast. Yes, let's finish this. <laughs> Thomas the Sonic Sega movie. Oh, no, no. Sonic no. movie than the Sonic movie was. Clouds of smoke and steam towered from the snorting engines as they struggled up the hill. We can do it, puffed James. We will do it, puffed Gordon. Greasy rails sometimes made Gordon's wheels slip, but he never gave up, and presently they reached the top. We've done it! We've done it! We've done it! They puffed. Boop, boop, he, he whistled. Goodbye! Beep, 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 beep! Thank you! Goodbye! Answered James. Gordon watched the coaches wistfully till they were out of sight. Then slowly, he trundled back to his waiting trucks. I kind of like how like this, this feels ending. like a bittersweet ending in the book version. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, Gordon Gordon did a good deed, but he has a long way to go before he's, like, truly, like, changed at all. You know? Like, this is kind of like the first steps here back. being shown off. Yeah. 
you know, it, it makes sense like they dropped it in the TV flagship. series version since, you know, again, standalone story. But, you know, it would have been a much more emotional ending if it was, like, in continuity and kept that kind of tone at the end. Yeah. Like, I, th- yeah. like, I feel like Gordon standing at the top of the hill just, like, looking at, at the, at James's train disappearing. I was like, it's like the, the horse on the beach. Yeah. It really Man. is. Man. <laughs> yeah. And he, he's making the face from Wrong Road. Where he looks really fucking high. Yeah. Honestly, like I, that, I... That's just what I'm okay, picturing. The TV series ending of this episode is where we see Cantankerous Old Man James. It's all connected. Honestly, yeah, I feel like... James. I feel like Gordon's face would be more like the fucking... The face Goku makes after he kills Frieza. Goku? Goku? Yeah. Son Goku. Son Goku. Oh my god. Right. Hatsune Miku is dead. He's the Super Saiyan. <laughs> no. Who will make my Watch out, Hatsune. Snake! Hatsune Miku is out there. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. <laughs> Look at Hatsune Miku versus Solid Snake. She would destroy him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why Atacon has to warn Snake about her. Duh. You wanna move into that's rankings? That's two no. Metal Gear jokes I've made throughout this whole episode. Hatsune Miku can and... kill anybody she wants and have no consequences because she's Hatsune Miku. Rankings. She just chooses not to for now. <laughs> yeah, let's rankings? do rankings. Rankings. Yeah. Uh, I like this. I never really think much about the story, since you know it got adapted later and as a result is a bit less iconic than like the stories in season one. So you yeah. know the last story in the next one, but I feel like in the book it's really fucking good. Uh, James yeah. is in it. That gives it extra yeah. points. Uh, I like the kind of bittersweet ending it has. It's really cool. Uh, I like the way the incident is described. It, it's a really good one. I bestow upon it a yeah. duck. Yeah, I'll, I'll also give it a duck. I think it. Um, I think it holds its own quite well. Um, especially like, you know, when compared when when stacked up with the other stories in the book. I, I've. I just realized I've uh, talked out of turn, so I'll just shut no, up now. It's, no, it's it's fine. Don't worry. You can <laughs> okay. you can finish if you want. No, I, I think I think that's all I had to say, maybe. But it, uh, apart from like, yeah, no, I I like the I like the I like the jokes. I like the uh, it, it it's for the most part actually quite consistently illustrated, which is a which is a weird weird rarity for Dalby. Um, but he does, he does paint the environments really, really well. And like I said, he's better at landscapes than he is trains. Um, he's better at most things than he is trains. Yeah. He's, oh, don't sugarcoat if he, he's better than literally, uh, literally fucking anything else than he is trains. Just like me. <laughs> Mario, no! Um, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, no! But yeah, I, for the story, uh, Percy, honestly, it, it's good. I, I just, I don't really have much to say about it. Like, I, I have remembered liking this one. But like, yeah, I don't know. It just, it, it, it's good. It's serviceable. I like the idea. I, I like the moment at the end. But, like, yeah, nothing really sticks out to me, I guess. That's fair. I, yeah, I'd probably say, like, a Toby. It's like, I really, really like it. But, like, I also don't have a ton to say about it. So it's like, I can't necessarily give it higher because it's not, like, one of my all-time favorites. But I also genuinely really enjoy it. So, I'd I'd say say a Toby is fair. Hmm. Okay. So next time on the Railway right. Series Book Club, we'll be talking about the pilot. <gasps> Not the pilot. <laughs> I like that episode of Doctor Who, though. Uh, is that classic Who or New Who? It, new Who. It's uh, Series Ten. Okay. There, I probably right. haven't seen that one. It's the one. Uh, it's the it's the one that introduces Bill. Nope. No, I haven't seen that. I, my, 
the, my first thought with the phrase new who was like the new Super Mario Bros. Wii channel icon. If that makes any sense, where like he just says like oh new no, Super God. Mario Brothers. Wee yeah, just that, but it's Doctor Who. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. I wanted to like <laughs> words of the doctor, I wanted to it's like a me, Chris Pratt. I wanted to end this episode on some kind of like intriguing hint on like my thoughts on down the mine next time, but I can't think of a very good way to do that, so uh, Down the Mine's good, let's do it, gamers. Down the Mine's good, but it ruins <laughs> season one. What? Next time on the Railway oh. Series Book Club. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>